What's up guys? Thank you guys so much for the support on episode 1 of this New Jersey Devils franchise mode. I honestly wasn't expecting it to do that well. I was thinking of Beer Pro doing better than it would. And then franchise mode. Maybe do a little bit less, but I don't know. It's cool. I like franchise mode. I like Beer Pro. So my game plan, it's not set in stone, but I'm looking at two or three franchise mode episodes a week and then one or two be a pro modes episodes a week but obviously work other stuff gets in the way so i'm aiming for at least three a week so that's my goal for three a week for videos in general but for here we're in january let's see how far are we into the or sorry it's january 1st Actually, you know what? I'm going to do a slow sim for this Devils and Dallas game. Da Dallas are one of my teams that I like as well. So I'm just kind of curious to see how this ha goes. I'll simulate. Usually we'll do something like this for playoffs. Uh, we'll go eight times. Yeah, eight times is the highest. End of the first, 1-1's one, Ajax Pavelski. Second, 2-1 for Dallas Sagan. We'll, we'll do the whole third by this. We're out shooting them. Okay, Jack Hughes ties it up at a B kid. We're just peppering them with shots. 30 minutes, 40 shots, going OT, cool. Going to go shootout. Shootout, so we went in a shootout. It's Ajax, Subban, and Jack Hughes. Big old Jack Hughes. Uh, let's take a look at the three stars. Why not? Bishop, yeah, Bishop deserved that. Nate, five. Yeah, they both had 185 goals against average. Bishop obviously had higher save percentage. Pavelski got the third star. Whatever. Get out of here. So that's always good. First slow stem of the series, and we... Uh, whatchamacallit? We win? <laughs> I am just so brain fried right now. So we'll sim two weeks, see how the team does. Oh yeah, I forgot. Cool. Well, I forgot that we extended that. I'm like, wait, what? Ooh, Blackwood 2, Jesper Bratt, Gusev. Everyone wants to come back. I would too. Uh, edit lines manually real quick. Who was injured? No, Miles Wood came back. Uh, take out Sini, I think. Yes. Is Buckwist listed fourth line? Yeah, cool. I just want to make sure that he's playing his role so he can follow. Could be a good second, third line guy for us. Who is this Hunt guy? Like, I know I should know the name. Brad Hunt. Top six. Yeah, no, I'm a good guy. I'm not giving up my third and seventh for your fourth in him. So we went two and two, three and two, three and three. Ugh. All right, Blackwood's getting a week or two. Gusev's still holding it down. We're still listed as a seller, but we're in. Uh, why did I go to edit? I want to go to edit lines. What am I doing here? Wait, 
What? Feel that's a glitch, right? All right, we'll we'll run that. That's got to be a glitch, right? And came in here for Blackwood, and we didn't even do it. So let's. Oh, he's in. Six and six, nineteen. Nineteen fourteen three with four shutouts. What's uh, Blackwood's full stats? Uh, Okay, we'll give him a week or two. Think we were running with Blackwood before. We'll just give him up until here. It's only three games, a long stretch. Edit lines manually. So we gotta take out Zajac, huh? Who has the better face-offs out of you two? Uh, Nick Merkley it is. And Cini, yep, substitute. Right, so Hughes Nesher. Nesher? Wow, I read Nico Hischer as Nesher. We'll just do best lines because I know what the line combos are. So it's gonna run like that. Screw it. It's all plus. Subban Butcher. I will run Subban Butcher plus three there. Bowie and the Hudden. Cool. I don't want a TSI mark. Like, we're in a little cluster there. Let's view draft class real quick. Ratty, obviously, yeah. Like, the scouting is just not working. I'm sending them out, and it's... Let's see. Scouted players. See, like, it says they're all scouted. It's just... Hopefully an update will fix that. Johnny Boychuk for a fourth, but he's got two years left at six mil. 81 overall. 37. Yeah, no. I'm I'm cool with uh Madison Bowie and Ben Hudden on our third pair. Edit lines manually. Nick Merkley. I'll swap. I'll just swap you for Zajac. That works. And then Cini. He'll swap for Merkley. Nope, Cini. Yep. I want that chemistry. That works for me. Two and one. We'll give him a few more games. Beat the ranker six three. All right, he's on a little bit of roll, so he'll get a few more games. Okay, on another roll, so we're just gonna let it go. Ooh, Hoffman for a third and a fourth. See, now this is something that does interest me. 17 goals, 29 assists. All penalty kill lines. See, that's the only drawback. Is that completely accurate? I don't know. Okay, Hoffman for a third and a fourth. Let me know in the comment section down below 
if we should try and get that at the deadline, if it's still there, if we're still in that like little cluster trying to separate ourselves. Because that is very interesting. Just at this point in time, I don't know, we're on a little bit of a roll. If we, if we lose against St. Louis, I'll put uh, Crawford back in that if the game didn't. Well, let's coach swap. Nope, I don't want Grabner. Cool. Crawford, you're getting the cage if you're not in it. Uh, so we're a conservative buyer. Yeah, whatever. So Crawford. Okay, so Crawford. See, like, I, I don't really get the auto rotation goalie. So we put, we put Blackwood in. Crawford got those games we won. So I, I, I guess we just won't mess with it. But I think we should maybe at the draft move Crawford that'll be for another episode anyways so we'll just sim up to the day before the trade deadline I'll just be a little short video headlines manually Nick Merkley, you're out of here. CD, you come back in. Ooh, Julius Honka. I remember when he used to be a... Not highly touted, but a touted prospect. Minor top two defense. What's his contract like? Uh, One year, two way. No, we'll claim him. He'll be an extra demand for us. Just in case playoffs we get injuries. Alright. So right now, let's look at the standings in a better view. So, we'll look at our team stats quickly. So again, I apologize if this is a this is a really short video in comparison to the other ones and what I originally planned. I thought we had another month for simulation, but that was my bad. So we got Gusev leading the way with 58 points in 62 games, 12 goals, 46 assists. Hefscher has 25 goals, 21 assists for 46 points in 62 games, but he's a minus 16, so that top line stinks getting some points obviously i would like them to be a little bit higher but it's all good i guess because we have guys like kahoon and johnson stepping up same with gusev gusev had what 44 points last season for us so he's already 14 points more and four games less so that's solid for us uh Severson's our top defenseman for points at 30, then Subban at 29. Let's check out goalies real quick. So Crawford's 29, 15, and 5 with four shutouts. Blackwood's 7, 4, and 2. Like it's not bad, it's decent. Obviously it'd, it would be much better if it was like 9 and 4. But 920 save percentage, 258 goals against average, not bad for Blackwood, then 912 and 290. Again, not not too bad for Crawford. And let's take a look at the NHL entire league. McKinnon's got 82 points in 62 games. Holy crap. Barkov. Landeskog. Marner, Ratnan, Veshkin, Matthews. Let's see who has the most goals. McKinnon at 42. Crosby, or McDavid, sorry, that's 35. That's that's sweet. Yo, Patrick Hornquist must... He's on the Flyers? 
I think it would be cool if you could see, like, if you go full career stats or something, and there would be, like, a page for, like, transactions. So, like, obviously, you don't have to go all the way back in their career, but, like, from when you start the franchise mode, you can see what they get traded for and what contracts they sign. It might be somewhere, but I don't know. That's interesting. I want to... I am so scrambled brain right now. So the Leafs are the first in the league. Wow, they have an 11 point lead on the Caps. 12 point lead on Buffalo. Then we're 13 points behind Toronto. And we're one point ahead of Colorado, the best team in the West. Are you kidding me? The East is loaded. I feel bad for Vegas. I really do. They're in a wild card. Uh, let's see. So we're 36, 19, and 7. We're on pace to make the playoffs with two points out for a division lead. But we're only. Seven points up on the Rangers in the wild card. What's the other wild card? 70 points. So we're basically nine points up on wild card, if if what I'm thinking is correct. Let's go browse trade block. See what's out there. You let me know if there's anyone you guys think we should go for. Obviously the Ducks have draft picks on. Jalmerson. Bunch of defensemen. Boston. Balak. Eric Stahl would be a huge addition. Will he fit anywhere for us? I mean, we have a log jam, log jam at center with uh, Cahoon, Hisher. Hughes. I mean, he'd be a phenomenal third line center, but it'll probably cost too much. Especially as a rental. Jordan Stahl. He'd be a solid third line center, honestly. 12 goals, 23 assists. Fantastic defensive stats. Fits nowhere. Oh, but he's got three years remaining. I read that as one year. Uh, Taze, yeah, that would be cool, but that's just going to cost too much. And his cap hit is not what we want. I'd love to get Bowen Byram, honestly, but Corpusello. How's Corpusello doing? Starter medium potential. Oh. Six and twelve. Yikes. Globin. Mantha, that would be a neat, but then he's an RFA, so that contract would get up there. Ethan Bear, he's got zero years left. Where would he fit? He's a left righty. Could take out Bowie, but depends what his contract would be. I'm curious. Uh... I'm just really curious about Jordan Stahl. Let's just see what it would take for Jordan Stahl. Wait, what? Was this not on the Hurricanes? Oh, I went right by him. What would... No trades found. Okay, cool. This... How about Bone Byram? That's going to cost way too much, I know, but yeah, no trades. Uh, who else was there? Let's go back to that Mike Hoffman. Because Ottawa's obviously out of it. 
if they still have Hoffman. He's got low but low trade value. No trades found. All right, get out of here, game. So I apologize for a, a rather short video. Uh, let me know what you guys think we should do. I think we should buy if the prices are right. Like if we could add a Hoffman for three or four, but like honestly, I don't even know if it's worth it because sure we might not use those picks. But guy like Janssen who would get moved down or like I'm not moving down Gusev, I'm not moving down Hughes. We should maybe balance the lines out a bit. Because that top line's getting torched. They're both they're all like negative eleven, sixteen, fifteen. Whereas this line's plus fifteen, plus twelve, plus nine. And our third line, minus two, minus two, minus thirteen. Oof. So yeah. Like that signing of Cahoon was fantastic. Two years at two point one five. If you're gonna put up forty and sixty forty four and sixty two at two and a half two point one five mil, yo, sign me for up for that contract any day of the week. Maybe defense, we add someone, but again, like, Hudden's minus 8, Bowie's minus 7, 15, minus 9, plus 5. Like, do we, do we look to bolster that third pair? I have an idea of someone I want to get, but I don't think it's real, real, real. Let's take it more exciting. Because if we had Subban, Severson, Sider, that's a nasty right side on the defense. And then you can unload Subban or just move him down to the third, let his contract expire. Severson, Sider, Subban. Uh, fine trade. Let's just see what, what do the De Detroit Red Wings want in game. For uh, more cider, there's cider. His 81 overall on his entry level contract. No trades found, of course. Uh, who else is there? Tampa, go defense. Uh, Calfoot, he's a 79 overall. Pretty fit defense pairing one, but that's a little scouting. See, like it's he's a big boy, 6'3, 220, like he's sturdy. Like that would be something maybe to look at instead of Bowie and Hudden. They go Bowie and Foot. And then use uh or sorry, Hudden and Foot, and then use Bowie as our seventh defenseman. He has got one year left. No trades found. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, probably have a few days in between this episode and the next episode. So it should give you guys some time to uh, let me know what you guys think. Give me some suggestions. Again, if you guys want, uh, hit that description box down below the video. Check out my Twitch stream. I did a test stream uh, Thursday night just to test out my settings. It went well, so I might be streaming more on my days off. And hit me up on Twitter. Follow me. And my Discord link is down there. would like to get my Discord going a little bit. So you guys can come in there, talk to me, talk to other people. We've got like Hut channels. you got ESHL channels. All that stuff, and maybe I'll post like uh, for franchise mode, like have like assistant GM chat there for you guys to help us out, as well as in the comment section. But again, thanks for the support so far, guys. NHL 21's been great. The motivation for videos and all that are there. 
obviously with work and that it's just difficult balancing the time and family and personal stuff and all that but let's see what the, the year takes us if you guys want share this video with a friend and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out